Nice to weekend. Okay. And just so you know, I didn't tell you in the last episode. I have forgot me and, and my dad and our family before they ditched me. We moved to Wash Heaven City. And that desert isn't, you know, like that desert isn't Mexico. I forgot it's Wash City Desert. No, Wash Have Heaven Desert. Desert. So yeah, it's a weekend today. It's a day off at school, and here we are in. Was heaven city removed from California and we moved to Was City Was Heaven So yeah Here we are in Was Heaven my dude I guess let's hang out here, smoke some weed, and chill. Around this corner. It's the weekend, so yeah, may as well chill, smoke weed. No. Get rid of, get rid of. Okay, <sighs> what video should I watch next? Next, next. Next. Can Who's the man that was seen here? Can you kid not? Show me this? Like fuck, I already seen this. I'm getting sick of tired. YouTube showing me stuff I already seen. I don't know why YouTube is that fucking Oh I hate YouTube for this shit. Stop showing what I already watched. Please. Let me have work. Thank you. 
Hopefully I will be officially quitting YouTube as of January 1st, 2020. I instead will be full-time on Story Farm. Hopefully this is not a quick fight because it says the Juggernaugget gets a Netflix series. So, hopefully. This will basically. Please just not all. Hopefully this is not. Quick fight. If he does get his own Netflix series, cool, I could be wrong, but if he doesn't, In this universe, you know how, like, on Rick and Morty, there's, you know, different universe cable? Um, yeah, but except in this universe, it's, you know, I can watch, the character can watch, you know, whatever the fuck he wants, basically, from different universes. In this universe, the year is... 2040 now. So yeah. 
but in other universes, you know, the year's different. To go on the character now, three, two, one, go. If I see Pennywise, you know what I'll do? Fuck the shoot the car. I want to watch it way less. Or I saw the trailer. I didn't think it'd be that bad. I'm like, clowns, please. I'm a real one. Mm-hmm. I'm a real. Mm-hmm. So I got this letter today. I'm really confused because I posted. Yeah, that's good ass. Hey, told you, son. 
I'm better than you at this game. What the? No, no, you're not. I'm like the man at Apex. What are you on about? No, nah, no, nah, that's what your that's what your mates are saying. Well, they're talking to you. Hey, 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 they're in the love fight. I'm gonna go help them. What the? <laughs> nah, <laughs> damn, nah, damn. Hold on, now, now, it's my turn. Ah, uh, ch chill out, son. Far, we're gonna go help our teammates. Oh, far away, right. you're gonna die anyway. It's Millie and Sam, aren't you? Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry, I'm shooting him. Oh yeah, I got him, I got him. Oh shit, this is the last team. Oh, no, I got another one too. Wait, is there any more left? Yeah, there's one more, there's one more. Shut up, I'm talking to my teammates. Hey, Are you serious? There is. Oh my shot, I got him. Oh, oh, we won. No, we won. Oh, we won, boys. We won, son. We won. Oh, oh, what the? Well, what do you mean you've never won a game before? Have you never won a game before, son? No. A reason that could potentially earn him merely. What if I told you Jake Paul had another reason for leaving California? One that he didn't mention in his video. A reason that could potentially earn him millions. 
thousands of dollars. Welcome back everyone, my name is Jesse Tyler Ridgeway and today we're gonna be taking a look at the financial components to Jake Paul's decision from moving from California. Jake Paul recently did a video that is number one trending on YouTube where he announced that he's selling his Calabasas mansion in LA to go move somewhere else. He frames a lot of his reasons as he wants to start the next phase of his journey. He wants to bring everyone with him on the next chapter of his life. He talks about that he's been spending a lot of time training in Nevada, that he has not spent much time in his LA home, and that he really isn't subscribing to the LA party lifestyle anymore. And he just wants to focus and level up his career. Now, all of these are perfectly valid reasons for wanting to leave Los Angeles. However, he's ignored the biggest elephant in the room that we're going to unpack today, and that's taxes. Now, to the untrained viewer, you might be thinking, well, okay, taxes are boring and confusing. I don't really care. But guys, I'm going to break it down for you so you can understand that Jake Paul just moving from one state to another could potentially earn this dude millions of dollars in savings as well as it's just being an insanely smart business move. So props to Jake for finally pulling the trigger on this. And let's jump in. California is the highest tax state in the United States and probably one of the highest tax places in the world. The California state income tax is a whopping 13.3%. Add that on to the 37% federal tax. So somebody in the highest tax bracket in California is paying over 50% of their money to taxes. <laughs> Jake Paul. Sorry, I had a little tickle there. In other words, for every $1 million that Jake Paul earns in a year, he is owing $500,000 to the IRS and the federal and state governments. Now, for being technical, not all of his earnings are getting taxed at this rate. It is on a sliding scale, and the IRS makes it incredibly difficult, complicated, and confusing. They have all these charts and breakdowns. If you're single, if you're married, if you're earning a certain amount of money, certain range and threshold so we're being very general with these statements just to really illustrate how big of a tax savings this is so anything past half a million dollars that jake earns on a federal level will get taxed at a 37 percent rate and anything over a million dollars that jake paul earns will be taxed at that 13.3 percent rate and there's a lot of money that let's move somewhere else in west heaven city <sighs> Please don't tell me the fucking pigs are after me. No, they're not. Okay, good. Let's park across here. Let's chill down here. There is Taco Bell. I don't like Taco Bell. For me, Taco Bell is disgusting. McDonald's is where it's, where it's at. There's KFC. Oh, no. come on. Oh, 
say to me again. Walk at you now, bitch. You're dead in a ditch. Motherfucker. Run your place. Let's chill here, is there any cameras? No, there is not. Okay, good. Let's chill here. Falls in between that, but Jake Paul is generally one of the highest earning celebrities in the world, believe it or not. Now, the chart in which I'm showing on screen really breaks down all the federal tax brackets as well as the state tax brackets. And just know that this changes every single year. This is why most people leave it to an accountant or some kind of software on their computer to figure out. And all of these brackets are really depending on who's in charge. And guys, our president will now be Joe Biden, which as a Democrat, he could potentially be taxing the higher net worth individuals more so, which Jake Paul would once again fall under that. Now back to the situation at hand, there's nothing worse than working your butt off throughout the year and having to owe half of your earnings to the government. What's crazy is that Jake Paul himself and all of us don't need to expose or subject ourselves to that high tax rate. Now, although it'd be very hard to ignore the 37% taxes on the federal level, you can adjust what state you live in. To avoid California's high tax bill, all you would have to do is move a state over, which could only be an hour, two hour drive. Believe it or not, there are states in the US that actually have no income taxes whatsoever. So that 13.3% that Jake Paul owes to California could disappear just by moving over to states. For example, in this video, Jake mentions that he has been spending months at a time in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is in Nevada, which Nevada is a tax-free state. And it's certainly not uncommon for Californians to go out to the desert or make a road trip to Vegas. Potentially having their primary residence in Vegas could save millions of dollars. Another painful tax issue that Jake does not bring up in this video, but I do believe is a lot of the reasons for the move, is for a California mansion on some acreage, you're going to be paying a huge amount of cash in property taxes every year. For that home specifically, we're looking at $80,000 a year just in property taxes. That is not including the mortgage. That's not including any utilities. This is 80 grand no matter what just going to the state government. So Jake, just in order to maintain that home, that property, is going to need to make sure he has $80,000 in the bank or at least his job is earning over $80,000 a year year just to just to cover that this is an insane amount of pressure to continuously perform and earn money now jake just by moving to say nevada he could be paying a quarter of the property taxes for the same value property i found in just two minutes i went on zillow and found this beautiful house in nevada that is going for around six million dollars not far off from the seven million dollars that jake paid for his los angeles home and he'd only be paying twenty thousand dollars in property taxes a year that's a quarter of what he's paying in property taxes in Los Angeles, and you're getting a very beautiful property. Speaking of Jake's LA house, this house cost him around $7 million in 2017. Around this time, Jake's crushing it on YouTube, and guys, we can't dismiss the fact that LA has been a beautiful backdrop and identity for Jake and his channel and his team. It has allowed the ability for Jake to collab with so many other YouTubers, to collab with many other artists, and really has provided a lot of traditional career opportunities, and it's just beautiful weather and the parties and the women. He has created and inspired so many to want to move out to L.A. and has continued the L.A. Hollywood narrative and dream. It's really been an anchor for the channel, and I can see why it'd be such a hard transition for Jake to make. However, we have to look at the facts. The 7 billion views that Jake has amassed on his YouTube channel, predominantly in Los Angeles, that 7 billion views 
equals seven million dollars on the low end, it could be upwards of 20, 30 million dollars and this is for sale in the market. So Jake putting his Calabasas home up for sale, which originally was seven million dollars in 2017, with the amount the home values have appreciated, especially in LA, that home could be worth nine million, ten million dollars. So Jake's got the perfect window here. He sells his house, makes a few million dollars in profit, he can then go to Nevada and buy a house. So Jake could come to Nevada, have more spending power, get a home of similar value, if not better, gets more land, better scenery, has more space for projects, for YouTube videos, he can have fun, do whatever he wants. He'll be the big fish in the small pond. He's going to save immensely in property taxes, he's going to save a tremendous amount of money in income taxes, and he can then use that money to fund other projects, invest it in the market, make more gains on that, buy more houses in no, no state income tax states, and the thing just keeps feeding himself. The man will save millions of dollars for the remainder of his career. Well done, bro. It's a brilliant move. It really is. Now, this is not the first YouTuber to all of a sudden leave a high income tax state. We had Graham Stephan also leave California. We had Jay Paul. We have Jesse Richard leaving. Well, that's right, me. I left the California of the East Coast, New Jersey, which is boasting like a 10.75% state income tax. I literally, all I had to do was move like hour away into Pennsylvania. It's only 3% state income tax. I save 7% of my money every single year now. That's like the gains of the stock market right there. And what I'm failing to mention is that 7% I save in a year, I can then invest that and make 7%. So that compounds. So for the more years I spend in a less state income tax state, that percentage compounds on another year's percentage. I'm technically saving 20%, 30%, 40%. If I just keep taking it on the chin in Jersey or California or New York, I'm basically just bleeding cash for what? New York pizza? California weather? Alright, alright, maybe it is worth it. Uh, there's a price for everything, right? But we can't ignore that we are still in a pandemic. There has never been a crazy... This one... No, not this one, but... Someone running away from the hotel never to be seen again. A mother who disappears and leaves her entire family behind. And the most intense missing person story I have ever heard about. I'm your host, Jade Arena, and this is Most Amazing Top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Lars Matank. A very strange story from a man that was just a young dude trying to have some fun. Lars Matank went down to Bulgaria with four friends, and all of them were having a great time. They were getting drunk and watching soccer. But here's the thing with soccer. It can be a very sensitive subject for some people. So there were some guys at this bar that didn't agree with Lars and his friend's opinion on soccer. This caused a massive brawl in the bar, and everyone was pretty fine except for Lars. He had a ruptured eardrum from getting hit, and this would roll into more problems. Him and his friends were supposed to fly the next day, but Lars couldn't because of his ear. So his friends had to take off without him. Lars was stuck trying to find another way home, but he started to become extremely paranoid. He thought that men were after him. The last words that anyone heard him say was his mother. He called her and told her that someone was after him. There was footage of him running out of his hotel, but no one knows what happened to the poor young man. Coming at number nine, we have missing and coastal theories will tell you that the Australian government has more info on what happened that day, but they refuse to share it with the public. At number five on the list, we have Timothy Piston. This was a wild missing person case from back in 2011. Timothy Piston and the rest of his family all travel from Illinois to Wisconsin. They were all set to spend the weekend at a water park and have a great time. It should have been a great weekend of memories, but it turned out to be a horror show for the entire family. Not long after checking into the hotel, Timothy would go missing and never be seen again. Apparently, one of the last things he said to his mom was asking her for a glass of water. This is something that was all over the news and a massive heartbreak for the entire family. There are so many twists and turns to this case. We could do an entire list just on this case. Coming in at number four, we have Brandon Lawson. Back in 2013, Brandon Lawson would take off in his truck after getting into a fight with his girlfriend, and that is the only part of the story that sounds normal. Not long after driving away, he had to pull over because he was out of gas, and then he called his brother. He told his brother that he had been chased out of town and people were coming to kill him. This was very strange, and Brandon had a history of drug use, so he might have been having a trip. Well, Brandon then called the police and told him he was being chased through the woods, and then he called his girlfriend and told her he was in the woods bleeding and then he was never seen again. Coming in at number three, we have Henry Hudson. Henry Hudson is the man responsible for colonizing the Hudson Bay. He was obsessed with finding the...
Northwest Passage. If he had found the Northwest Passage, this would have opened trade between Europe and Asia, and he would have been the famed explorer who made it happen. Well, to do this kind of thing, you have to bring a bunch of men with you, and all of them have their own opinions. And to find the Northwest Passage, you have to... Let's head home, head to bed, and wake up in the morning for another weekend. Tomorrow is Sunday, so yeah, let's head, head to my house, I guess. Here we are.